Hi, welcome to Prophetic Utterance. I'm your host, Jacqueline King. We give God the honor and the glory. We thank God for this hour. We thank God for his mercies. We thank God that he is our deliverer. He is our help. Amen. So tonight I will be teaching on satanic agents. Uh, This is for my deliverance class, deliverance class 101. Amen. We're just going to trust in the name of the Lord and pray that he will give you more wisdom and understanding concerning uh, the enemy who's constantly attacking us during the fourth watch. Amen. This is the witching time, 3 a.m. until 6 a.m. This is the time where we should be up. We should be praying the word of God. We should be announcing uh, the power of the word in our mouths. Amen. Uh, counseling every demonic attack, every bondage. Amen. Every adversary, the adversary, the plans of the adversary, we should be destroying them with our words amen and beginning to recognize who is the satanic agents who are these spiritual robbers that comes in our dreams amen so one of the things is i want to highlight is that satan and his agents are at work we need to understand they do not sleep they work 24 7 There's a difference between a believer and someone who operates in the kingdom of darkness. Amen. With Father God, we don't work. We present ourselves to him as a living sacrifice, holy, pleasing, and acceptable to him. Amen. We present ourselves by repenting. We ask God to forgive us for our unrighteousness. We ask God to forgive us from our sin. Amen. This way, the enemy will not have no legal rights in our lives or with those who contends with us. That's why we pray and repent and speak the blood of Jesus Christ. So we need to understand right now, this is the time. If you have desired to do deliverance, if you have desired to be an intercessor, you need to know that Satan and his agents are at work to frustrate the plans and the purpose that God has for all of us. Amen. So we have to believe by speaking God's word. We have to believe by using our faith. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. And if you are not in the presence of God consistently, this is what the enemy uses against you and against me so who are these spiritual forces who are these human forces well we know the spiritual forces are demons these are demonic spirits these are the fallen angels who goes about doing the bidding of their father amen and there are human forces such as witches or wizards occult individuals people who are worshippers of Satan, satanic worshippers, Satanism, etc., etc. But they are agents. And there are many people who are in our lives who are not aware that they are working for him. They are not aware of the activities that they bring, the sorrow that they bring to us. Amen. So we need to pray and begin to seek the will of the the Lord and begin to arm ourselves daily and often in prayer and putting on the whole armor of God. So, Father, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus Christ for your grace and your mercy upon our lives. We thank you, Lord, that whoever's listening now, that they would learn to speak your word in season and out of season, that they would learn to have faith and trust in you at all times and remove every limitation and obstacle in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, if you have participated in any of my online classes, you will be aware that one of the things I keep highlighting is the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 for the word of God says finally my brethren put on be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might put on the whole arm of God that you may be able to stand against the plans of the enemy I mean the plans of the devil in the name of Jesus Christ. So you have to have on the whole armor of God to defeat the plans of Satan. Amen. He has plans. And once again, what is his plans to frustrate the purpose and the plans that God has for you to come in at night while you are sleeping. Amen. To come in to perform their activities. 
before they return back to their bases. So we need to know that the only way we could defeat the enemy, even as a deliverance minister, we need to put on the whole armor of God. Amen. So as we command the morning, command the day, we command the breakthrough. We command the anointing of the most high God in our lives. For the word of God says, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles, the plans of the devil, the plans of Satan. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take un- unto you the whole arm of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth. So whoever you are, begin to gird yourself with the truth. Who is the truth? Jesus Christ. Amen. Put Jesus Christ in your life. Make him first. Amen. Speak his word daily and often and have on the breastplate of righteousness. The breastplate of righteousness is keeping us in right standing with our father. No one that walks in unrighteousness can stand in the presence of God. So put on your breastplate of righteousness and your feet. That's right. Place your feet upon the preparation of the gospel of peace. That's right. The gospel, the good news, the peace, the peace that passes for all understanding. And above all, take the shield of faith. Amen. Faith is very important as a believer. Faith is important to whomever. No matter where you are in this life, you got to have faith. Whether you choose to believe, faith is essential for everyone. Amen. Whether you believe it or not, it is essential. So it's essential for us, us who are the children of God, intercessors, those who work at night fighting against the enemy. Amen. We pursue him with the word of God. But we must have the shield of faith to quench the fiery darts of the wicked one. And we must take on the helmet of salvation and the sword of spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with prayer and supplication in the spirit. Watching. That's the key word. Watching. Thereunto with all perseverance and supplications for all saints. So this is an intercession. That is an intercessor. We are to watch and pray and pray for all saints. Amen. We are not to waste our energy on praying on things that is that has nothing to do with our Father. Amen. And unless the Holy Spirit assigns you to those assignments, then do it. But in the meantime, you are to pray for your sisters and your brothers in Christ Jesus. You are to pray according to the will of the Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. So, Father, we thank you right now as we enter into worship. We bless your name, Father God, because you are the almighty God. You are the Prince of Peace. You are the Lord of our salvation. You, Father God, amen. You are our help, Father God, and we lack no good thing in you, Father God, because you are the Lord who is the living word, and we receive your living word in our lives. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. So let's go into worship so I can continue to pray and continue to teach you God's word. Amen. Because he is the living word. Many things you were on earth, a holy king, a carpenter. You are the living word. Bread of heaven. Thank you. 
Amen. Praise God. He is the living word. We thank God that he is the living word. Amen. Hey, this word is alive. This word is active. This word is sharper than a two-edged sword. Amen. This word will deliver us. Amen. From out of bondage. This word will deliver us and keep us delivered. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As long as we walk upright before the Father. Amen. So we just give God praise and honor for this hour. We thank God for the atonement, for the blood of his son, Jesus Christ. And we know that we are to live upright before God. We know we are to do these things that is pleasing and acceptable unto him. We cannot allow ourselves to be discouraged during the warfare. Amen. Because the enemy wants you discouraged. All right, so let's command this morning. We're going to command the morning with the word of God. The word of God says in Matthew 24, verse 43, But know this, that if a good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken into. And many of you are not watching. Many of you are not persevering. Many of you are not seeking the will of the Lord for your salvation. Amen. This is why the enemy could come in and do havoc in our lives. Amen. It's a shame that many of us have to sleep because you have to work. Many of you have to sleep because you have children. You have so much responsibilities, but you got to give a night to God. You got to discipline yourselves and begin to give yourself over to God. Amen. To prevent the enemy from coming into your home and taking your possessions. This is what these satanic demonic spirits are up to. They come in to take our possessions. Because they don't want us to prosper. They don't want us to do what is pleasing to God. Amen. They want to keep us in bondage. But I'm here to tell you. It will not be your portion in Jesus name. But you must know who these satanic robbers are. And you must arm yourself against these satanic robbers. Because many of them are violent. And that's why the word of God says the kingdom of God suffered violence. But the violent take it by force. Amen. So we got to take it by force. But the only way we can take it. We got to know the word of God. We got to know who are the satanic agents. Amen. How do they exist and how do we handle them? We handle them with the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. That's how we handle them. With the blood of the Lamb. We speak the blood of the Lamb because the blood increases us. It strengthens us. I mean, Satan and his demonic cohorts, those satanic uh, satanic robbers, don't like the blood of the Lamb. They don't like it at all. Amen. So you have to deal with them. Whether you believe in them or not, you still have to deal with them. Whether you believe the devil exists or not, you still have to deal with them. Amen. No matter who you are, where you are, you still got to deal with those demonic powers. Amen. That's why nothing in your life is going good. Those who always complain, nothing in my life is going good. You have given the enemy legal rights by confessing that. Amen. Because there's death and life in the power of the tongue. Now let's just review the scripture one more time. But know this, that if, if the good man of the house had known, So if he had prior knowledge, he would not have went to sleep. If he had known that the enemy had an assignment for his house, he would have watched and prayed. Amen. His house would not have suffered anything, lost or nothing would have been missing. Amen. So this is a time where we have to allow ourselves to pray. We have to watch and prevent the enemy from gaining territory. We have to watch and and establish the word of God to prevent the enemy from hijacking our blessings. That's right, man of God, woman of God. We have to prevent the enemy, Satan, and his satanic agents, whether they be physical or spiritual, from hijacking our blessings. And the favor that God has for you and for me. So tonight, I pray that Abba Father will surround you with uncommon favor. I pray that God will surround you with blessings and favor. Double portion of restoration and healing for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Cast out those demons, those territorial spirits. Bind them up in the name of Jesus Christ. Command them to go 
in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus said to the Pharisees, that they are of their father. I mean, who is their father? Satan. For the word of God says in the book of John, John 8, 44, you are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father, you will do. So you want to make sure that if there's anything in your flesh that is, uh, uh look, uh, that is associated with the spirit of lust. You need to bind it now in the name of Jesus Christ and loose the power and authority of the word of God over your flesh. Command that spirit to be arrested now in the name of Jesus Christ so that you will not be a part of Satan's plans in the name of Jesus. Amen. He is a murderer. For the word of God say he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth. Because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. John eight forty four. So you must know and understand the plans of the enemy. Recognize what the spirit of lust is. Recognize the, the lust and the bondage that is in your life. And begin to expel them out. In the name of Jesus Christ. So we're going to do a quick prayer point here. That's going to help you to be delivered from the lust of the flesh. We're going to bind those demonic powers up now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Now take a deep breath. Let it out. Amen. And let's renounce the bondage of lust by saying... In the name of Jesus, I command out of me all spirits of lust, fantasy lust, perversion, fornication, adultery, masturbation, oral sex, sodomy, incest, rape, homosexuality, lesbianism. Anal sex, sex with animals, sex with spirits, lust of the eyes, pornography, prostitution, and all unclean sexual spirits in the name of Jesus Christ. Now take a deep breath and renounce them all. Say, I renounce you now in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be my portion in the name of Jesus Christ. I am free and whom the Son sets free is free indeed. There you go. Begin to renounce it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Take a deep breath and expel them out. Now we're going to speak another word, amen, concerning the power of death, amen. So take another deep breath and let it out in the name of Jesus I now command out of me every spirit under the authority of Abion and Apollyon, the angel of the bombless pit, the tormentor. I command these spirits to be powerless, not to torment me or my family anymore and to leave us now, leave me now in the name of Jesus and take a deep breath and release them out in the name of Jesus Christ and we're going to renounce Satan because he is a father of lies so we're going to command out of you all spirits of deception all doctrines of demons all spirits of rit ritualism formalism doctrinal error legalism super re religiosity seducing spirits spirits of the new age movement we command them out in the name of Jesus, there you go, all the way out, cough them up, yawn, and spell them out, breathe them out, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen, so we just praise God, amen, that we are identifying the demonic powers of Satan, amen, the satanic agents that he used to control, to manipulate us, amen, but we can no longer be bound in the name of Jesus Christ, we are free, amen, Satan cannot Hold us hostage because of the blood of the Lamb. So many of you who are in my online class begin to decree and declare that, that you are free by the blood of Jesus Christ. Even you who's listening, command the word of God to be your help, your portion. You are free by the blood of the Lamb. You are no longer in bondage. You are no longer walking in darkness. You are free. You are now walking in the light. You now can speak God's word and trust God. Amen. And the devil can no longer hijack your blessings. Hijack the favor of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus.
Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. And as we begin to pray, we thank you, Father, those satanic agents will no longer have power and authority to ruin your life. We bind the spirit of accidents, deaths, thefts, job loss, and any other acts of the devil. We command it to be stopped now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There you go. And we command them to obey the voice of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus as we release our prayer, our powerful prayers by faith. And we believe that Father has sent forth his angelic assistance to intervene, to intervene, amen, to deliver us, Father God, from all their assignments, the assignments of murder, lies, deception, whatever it is, we pray now that God will deliver you, deliver you and your household, deliver your family. Yea, God, we thank you for the intervention. We thank you, Father God, for the blessings. We thank you, Father God, that not only are we receiving blessings, but they are coming from heaven. So we thank you, Father God, that our heaven is no longer bronze and our earth is no longer iron. We thank you, Father God, that we have now eyes to hear, eyes to see, ears to hear. We now have vision and we now can dream our dreams will no longer be defiled they will no longer be polluted in the mighty name of Jesus we thank you for the deliverance we thank you for salvation we thank you for the angelic assistance and we thank you Father God that you deliver us Father God from the snail defiler we thank you Father God that the enemy can no longer enter our homes we thank you God that you have revealed to us the movements of the enemies you have revealed to us the weaknesses of our enemies that's right Father we thank you Lord that you have revealed unto us the traps of the enemies in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you now in the name of Jesus that you have revealed the fears of the enemies in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you now in the name of Jesus Christ that you have revealed unto us the identity of our enemies. You have I revealed them. Who are the satanic agents that walk around in the flesh? Reveal them to us now, Father, in the name of Jesus. Reveal them and their assignments now. Let they be exposed now in the name of Jesus. What they do in the dark will come to the light. Let it manifest now to the light in the name of Jesus. Those who comes to harass us and torment us spiritually, let them be exposed now in the light in the mighty name of Jesus. Yea, God, we thank you for the deliverance. We thank you for salvation. We thank you, God, that you are equipping your people with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that they will know your will. They will know who you are. They will know your purpose. They their purpose will not be frustrated. The plans of the enemy, they will be frustrated. We frustrate the plans of the enemy now in the mighty name of Jesus. Yea, God, we frustrate them now. We frustrate the plans of the enemy. We frustrate their assignments now. Let they be exposed now in the name of Jesus. Whatever assignment they had for me, for my family, and for those who contends with me in the body of Christ, they are now nullified and void with the blood of Jesus. I speak to covering and protection of over my family, over the inhabitants of my household. I secure my household in the blood of Jesus. I secure my home in the blood of Jesus. I secure my finances, my transport, my land, my job, my career, everything that is concerning me. Is covered and secured in the blood, in the blood of the Lamb, soaked in the blood of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, that your word is like a hammer that breaks the rocks to pieces. Whatever rock and whatever the assignment was, whatever that bondage was, it is broken, it is breaking to pieces, mashed to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. Yea, God, we thank you for fresh fire, Holy Ghost fire. We thank you for the revelation. We thank you, God, that you are revealing to us who they are are those satanic agents they are blocked and bound in the name of jesus they cannot operate in our lives father god as we loose our angels god we loose them and we command our angels to encamp around about our homes while we sleep that's right whoever you are release your angels to encamp around your home even when you're not asleep Command them to be there to protect your household, to protect everything within your home, outside of your home. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. And send forth the angels of God right now. I loose the angels of God to destroy the witchcraft meetings held 
for my sake in the name of Jesus. Every boardroom meeting that every demonic agent is having, the satanic agents are having spiritually and and physically in these human beings. We destroy them now by the fire of God. The God of Elijah. Answer our prayers by fire. Destroy their boardroom meetings. Destroy them now in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you Father God. Every witchcraft assignment. Be destroyed by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. All your traps be destroyed by fire. Literal routes be destroyed by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you Father God. We bless your name, Father God, and we thank you for the blood. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. We speak the blood, the blood of the Lamb, the sacrificial blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you for the protection, God. And we thank you, Father God. Let every ground swallow up any power drawing energy against me. Let it be swallowed up now. Let it be swallowed up. Let the ground swallow any power drawing energy against me repeat that let the ground swallow any power that's right that foundation that they're trying to put you on let it be destroyed by fire in the mighty name of jesus yay god we thank you for this hour we thank you lord as we pray for angelic assistance we thank you that our angels are loose our angels are protecting us in the mighty name of jesus Amen. Amen. So, Father, we bless you. We thank you for fresh fire. Holy Ghost fire. God, we thank you for the anointing. We thank you for the anointing, God. Yea, God, we thank you, God, for the power of your living son. Through the power of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I pray for them now that you will send forth aid. That you will send help to them, Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that they will be obedient to your will. That they will not allow themselves to be defiled. That they will speak the word of God. They will speak truth, Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ. They will believe in you. They will believe in you and have faith in you, Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ, they will not allow themselves to be troubled by the affairs of this world. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we bless your name, Father God, that you have delivered us from the defilement of the enemy. Amen. It will not be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Bless the Lord. We will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in our mouth. Amen. Say that. Yea, God, your praise shall continually be in my mouth. So we thank God, amen, for the word of God. We thank God for the word of truth. We thank God that you are understanding that there are the there are demonic spirits, the satanic agents who is out there to do the bidding of Satan. Amen. To prevent you from moving forward in the things of God. Amen. He doesn't want you to prosper. He wants you to suffer. And the word of God says, suffer not for the things of this world, but suffer for the things of Christ. So believe in Christ. Have hope in Christ. Have hope in your Savior. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. And once again, in the Bible, Jesus identified the Pharisees, as being demonic agents because of their religious activities, because of the laws that were they were placing upon the people. And these people always operate with demonic forces. They're always denying Jesus Christ. Amen. And there are some people in the church, charismatic, who operates from charismatic witchcraft, who also deny the existence of 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 satan amen and these are the people that are constantly under attack and they are the ones that are easy to be infiltrated by the powers of darkness amen and they can become satanic agents for satan and don't even be aware of it because they constantly deny there is no devil there is no demons there is no satan amen so because of that these human beings are not aware that they are becoming or they are now 
satanic agents for the powers of darkness because of the rejection. Amen. So we thank God for your deliverance. We praise God for your salvation. I hope this prayer, this teaching will help you and prepare you to start learning to give up at least one hour a night to pray between the hours of 12 a.m. and 6 a.m. Amen. Amen. God bless you. And I'm your host, Jacqueline King, Prophetic Utterance.